John calling me. Coffee's ready. What a treat. John's fed one goat and now we're overrun with them. Not your good dates. <laughs> God. Feed one goat. <laughs> no, you stay away from me, son. Oh. Huh. <laughs> into the village to fill up our water bottles again finally maybe grab a bit more bread and then it's off into Snake Canyon right then got half a bladder pool on the back there we're only going for the one night hopefully as long as we're not detained on the four-wheel drive track out, yeah, hopefully we'll have enough. And there may be, even be water in there. I don't know yet, we haven't been able to get a lot of information. I like that the bus stops are designed as little forts. like this before. Palm trees on beaches. That's what I'm used to. It's quite rough going. We've got a few kilometers of this into the campsite and then if we carry on with the loop I have planned, lots more of it. has just given me this little goodie bag. I can hardly hold the bike up with my legs on this on this gradient. Oh that's so nice. He offered me a lift as well. Bless. To help me up the last little bit there. I would have been there all day otherwise. But I think we've come over the rest of it now. Okay. No. Road? Yeah. Oh, I'd have been pushing. 10 kilos of water I carried, John. To John. <laughs> There's a surprise mosque and we're coming back the same way so I can get rid of 10 kilos of water I don't need. Awesome.
with John's encouragement, I've cycled all the way up into the Blooming Canyon. We're literally in the river valley now. Time for some lunch and then maybe a little hike. Cheese from a can. Is it cheese? American cheese. Smells of burger cheese. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna have a crack at this hiking trail and they were like, yeah, don't just do it. Story time. Uh, we we walked to the bottom of it and there was a, a rock like this that you had to climb up and over and down the other side. To visit the canyon properly, you really need a guide and abseiling gear. But we gave it a shot, hiking up as far as we could without all the gear. Coast steering. What's coast steering? It's where you go along the coast. And oh. You wear like the life jackets and you jump in a bit and you, uh, and you swim for a bit and then you go up some rocks. And, yeah. We must be coming close to the dead end for us. This is the end point for me, I think. John's carried on a little bit because he's far more fearless than me. I'm just going to pause here and enjoy the view and wait for him to hopefully return. It looks nutritious, John. Mm. Nutritious and delicious. Thanks for dinner, Jono. Mm. What a treat having a cooked dinner. Thank you, I'm very grateful.